Hills. This is Sunday, October the 11th, 2020. I wanted to talk to you real quick about the importance of budgeting. And since I do talk a lot about, um, and I plan on talking more about personal finance and everything, although you'll hear me talk about small business and things like that. Um, one of the things that I think goes hand in hand if you're a business owner or not a business owner or whatever is the importance of budgeting and and I'm talking about budgeting in a way um, there's there's all kinds of, of high-tech ways you can budget I mean there's there's all kinds of software you can use um, to help you budget things like that but I, I'm talking about I'm sure most of you um, unless you live under a rock have heard of Dave Ramsey and um, he is the the king of, of getting out of debt and uh, establishing a budget and stuff like that um, and I, I'll tell you that I'm not I haven't followed Dave's plan 100% Although I should have probably, but I have followed it over the last, um, gosh, maybe seven, eight years now. Um, and I have tweaked it and tuned it to, to fit me um, as Jim Rohn. Almost 99% sure it was Jim Rohn that said... Um, be a student not a follower so in that sense you know I, I do follow you know Dave Ramsey but I'm not a follower I don't know if that makes sense or not in, in other words I, I kind of have a, I kind of have a mind of my own and I, and I tweak it to make things you know fit me and, and, and stuff like that now I'm not saying it know Dave is wrong in any way and what he does works for him 100% that's great in other words he he'll tell you to cut up your credit cards and things like that um, I, I still have a couple of credit cards um, but I pay them off at the end of every month you, are you playing with fire a little bit when you do that yeah uh, but that's that's what I've been doing and it's worked for me so um, anyway and, and that goes that ought to just a little side note every one of you should be a student not a follower um, don't don't follow someone's advice to the to the letter just because they tell you to do it you need to do your own research um, and see if it's right for you and um, anyway so anyway all that aside um, I do I've I credit Dave for helping me uh, and my wife get out of debt um, a while back and I still use the budget even though that um, we're out of debt now uh, except for except for our mortgage you know we're, we're still deeply in mortgage debt but what I'll tell you is something that I think that everybody ought to adapt and and that is budgeting using cash in envelopes for a lot of things um, and I know it sounds uh, it, it sounds I should I say it may 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 sound too you know simplistic or or even childish to some people and um, but all I can tell you is it works for me, and um, and I'll just give you an example um, of several different ways that you can use cash and envelopes to help you budget. Uh, let me give you an example um, instead of just sitting here trying to explain it. Um, as part of our envelope system, we have a envelope labeled car maintenance, and um, and you know that 
that over time, either your car needs things. Uh, you're gonna need to put tires on it. I mean, every once in a while, every every couple years, every few years, depending on how much you drive. You're gonna need, you're gonna need to do oil changes and stuff like that. You gotta put brakes on the car. The things that are not surprises. You know, you can. Um, you, you can budget for those things and so if you were to see my spreadsheet as far as what our budget looks like on the computer you'll there's a column in the spreadsheet labeled car maintenance and every month we put in a certain amount of money into that car maintenance envelope and therefore there's money in there and you know so and then what was it uh at the beginning of this year somewhere right around january or february uh we had to put tires on, on our on our honda and you know it cost about you know five six hundred dollars and now if you didn't have that money at hand you would do what most people do and put it on a credit card and then you know pay it off over the next you know year and um but if you have money sitting in an envelope that you can go grab the money out of when you need to put tires on your car it sure does make life a lot more enjoyable and um it, it doesn't hurt as bad when you have to go put tires on your car and if you got cash ready to buy them so that's an example there's other we have you know several other envelopes you know one for home repairs um, we have envelopes for things that we want to buy in the future um, you know like appliances and stuff like that that we want just want um, you know we have separate envelopes for and that way every single month you know you have your you take out of your income a little bit here and a little bit there and you you put it in these envelopes and then that's that's a way to spread out bigger purchases in little chunks you're doing it in reverse of way of the way most people do it when they put it on a credit card most people when they want to buy something large and put it on the credit card and then they're paying those small chunks after the fact then of course you know why that's bad two things uh, one is that you're paying interest and then number two you never really pay it off I mean you're just paying a little bit here and there and then that kind of gets mixed up with the other 20 purchases that you've done in the year and it all gets mixed up and then you just have one big large credit card balance um, whereas really the envelope system where you're doing budgeting is, is the same thing except it's interest free you know you're just you're you're paying for that purchase that that, that you know or come that you know is coming up a little bit at a time prior to anyway it makes things much more enjoyable uh, uh, and I wanted to pass that on to you I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be talking more about the budget and how to physically keep envelopes with cash in them and i've actually been doing uh i've actually been putting cash in envelopes well before i even knew who dave ramsey was i mean I, he's been around forever but i i only got introduced to him about seven or eight years ago eight years ago something like that but i mean when i was i don't know 12 years old I remember I had little envelopes in my drawer and I used to you know cut grass for uh, people in my neighborhood you know I was a teenager starting to a very young teenager starting to cut grass on the side here and there and I would take that cash and you know I might I might get $20 for cutting my neighbor's yard and then I would take that $20 and I'd put $5 in this envelope, $5 in that envelope, $5 in this envelope, you know, and keep $5 in my wallet just for spending money. And, uh, you know, it's kind of stuck with me. Now, there was a period of time that I stopped doing that, but then I picked back up on it when I, you know, heard Dave Ramsey. Um, it's the 
like, hey, that, that, that sounds oddly familiar when, he's, when he talks about, you know, budgeting and, and the envelope system. So I picked back up on it and it just kind of come naturally to me because I used to do it many years ago when I was just a boy. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for listening. Um, uh, I hope this helps you in some small way. And um, something like this, just, just know, let me say one more thing. Something like this is, a system like this, it, it's, it's a little difficult to get started. But once you get it started, and not difficult, but uh, it's just, um, it's, it's not as easy to get started as it is, it's easy to keep it going once you have it started. Once you develop a plan and you stick with that plan, um, then it becomes easy to keep that plan going. And, um, and, but just start small. Uh, that's, that's what I would say. Just pick, pick something, you know, like, like if, um, you know, like if, if, if you're a lady and you like to do your hair, you know, you like to go to a salon and, and you like to get your hair done once every, you know, once every few months, um, as far as like really get, getting it done and prettied up and getting your hair colored and stuff like that, like like my wife likes to do every once in a while. You know, just if you know that you know that's going to cost you a hundred dollars, hundred twenty dollars, or whatever it's going to be, um, get you an envelope and write on there, you know, hair money, and um, and then if you know that's going to be coming up three months from now. Just go ahead and put you in there, you know, put you in there $40 this month and put you in there $40 the next month and then $40 on that third month. And then when you go to the hair salon, then you got cash. You just take, take it right out of the envelope and you're good to go. Anyway, hope this helps. Um, please like and subscribe. And, and I'm, uh, I'm, you know, new to this YouTube thing, you know, and uh, so I, I'm trying to be consistent and get some give some information out there every once in a while for you guys and gals hopefully hopefully it helps you in some small way y'all have a good day